you're probably now saying, he didn't do the screen. Well, I have done. Okay, here we go. Excuse the amateur video, but also if you could excuse there's someone doing some work in the background. I'm in the garden. Now I'm going to look over this. This is an original panel. You'll notice there's no sitting behind it because it's one that came from the factory when they closed. And one of our customers has kindly donated it to this project. Um, to uh, ensure that we are getting things absolutely correct. And you'll notice there's, if you can pick up in the sunshine, there is a metallic sort of finish and glisten to it. Um, you can't see that inside, so I'm not going to too much worry about it, but it might to replicate it anyway. Um, the colours, Obviously, this is a panel from around about circa 1985, maybe six. You can see a scratch there through the panel um, because originally this would have been flashed in black. Turn it over. You can see underneath this is the sticky panel, but it would have been flashed in black, which is there. And then the screens added, they were lacquered over, and then the whole um, panel was lacquered over as well. We're not going to be doing that because we don't want scratches and we don't want marks and we don't want all these things and then you're having to go back to square one all over again. The whole intention behind this is to make it as authentic as possible but then to make sure you fit it, forget it. Okay? It isn't a working membrane because there is no actual switch. It's, they're just cut out, which of course we'll do precision wise like we do our other panels. And there's um, areas for everything that we need. Okay? So, that's a review of where you are. You already know that if you're looking at this and you've got one of these sims. What we've managed to do, well, we've used one of our other panels as just as a, a paint uh, surface to work off. And this has also got that metallic colour. This substrate is not the correct one. So when we go on the thicker substrate, it will uh, take a bit more dullness off this because it's coming through further. Okay. We've no idea how many coats of lacquer was on this. Um, I know we can get sort of densitometers and all things like that out, but we're going for original, how it looks, and I think we're going to get there. So, that is an overall effect and you can see hold it up you can see that they're the cut out windows we've just used the portamento time for two different versions of it because we've got more of a frosted look and then more of a clear look the blue there is going to be the blue that's on the actual panel in the lines the red they're see-through as well which is going to be the, for the leds the blue looks close very close um, the sort of light green or yellowy colour and then we've got the white itself which is for the writing okay so what i'm going to do is to show you where we're up to that's not a finished panel obviously um, like i say the substrate is thinner so it's not going to show through but it is flashed with black so it has the same effect if i show you the colour because this is like a three stage colour matching really because not only have you got the synth that's looking through lacquer that you don't know how thick it is and obviously how old it is, how faded it is, how much is left, all of those, you've got the colour to match but then you've got the colour to match with putting black behind it. So you first have to get the colour wrong. Um, so as you can see, again through a different substrate, it's going to look slightly different, but you're there. But then when you put it through a black flash, it brings it back more to the colour. And if I can just try to do that, you can hopefully see that the colour there and the colour there are almost correct. Again, when this is through the correct substrate, we're confident it's going to be as nigh on 
identical, but I think it's pretty darn close as it is. All right. Now, the other thing is, of course, when you put the panel down, it's going to then sit in a, a sort of lightless atmosphere, I suppose, because it's got a metal panel behind it. So you have the metal panel flashed in black with the colours coming through a different substrate with no lacquer on top because the substrate's acting as a clear barrier and a lacquer source. A bit like these are. They're too thin. Right, so here's the green. So without me to explain every colour in the same way, you can see that that's going to be correct. The red, the transparency. You can see how it's coming through. That's for the LEDs. So that will, that will work a treat. The blue, again, beautiful sort of light baby blue. That's going to work. Again, it'll look a little bit duller through the, the longer panel. The grey, that's for your miscellaneous or on the Matrix 12, it's uh, different designations there. As of uh, uh, the Matrix 12, of course, has got the 12 voices here. That's a makeshift cutout button where the two LEDs would go. And of course, it doesn't have these here either. Another thing to note, and the keen eye of one of our customers um, spotted this, these on an expander, these numbers, are central to those circles on the original. And we've replicated that. Have a look at your Matrix 12. They're not. They're slightly to the left. Why? We've no idea, but obviously there was a revision to the panel after this was made to make the Matrix 12. I mean, obviously they've got to do the, uh, the different words, but this was um, not easy to spot, if I'm honest. Um, but thankfully we have, thanks to our customer base, and like I say, a massive thank you to customers who have been uh, forthcoming with measurements, because we've got measurements of about six different people, even though we've got this, because there's just no room for error. Uh, we make this, and, and it's out there. So, now one thing is as well, the, the orders have slowed right down towards the end. We are going ahead with the production, so that's an absolute yes. Um, but I'm not confident enough to go ordering hundreds of these. So if you do want one and they're not available on the website and you're getting in touch within these next couple of weeks, you can email me at craig at sweetdiscreet.co.uk and discreet as in electronics discreet. Um, okay. Anyway, we're here. Prototypes next. Thanks for watching. the other video you're probably now saying it didn't do the screen well I have done here and as you can see how it looks through you've got a frosted to the left and a clear to the right um, got a texture to them the originals is just straight wacky you see so it's slightly smoother I'll be honest on the original in doing it that way it may have been an intention guide but we're using a substrate to do this and so there's going to be a texture finish to that substrate in any case but you won't see it sort of in the, in the dark or in, in na unnatural light it just looks absolutely fine so bright bright sunlight which we're enjoying at the moment uh, you will however if i slot it look at this technology eh? under here and kind of put it there These have to be sort of um, melded into the design so that they're one part of this panel. It isn't a simple case of just painting and putting colours, they have to be manufactured properly to do this. But at Sweet Discreet, we do go that nth degree. Um, please support us on YouTube by liking and subscribing us because 
we, we, we need to continue doing this. We've got lots more plans as well. Um, we've got the Oberheim OB8 um, full panel graphics for restoration, the Profit 5 panel, um, there's so much more, ARP 2600, TR808, you know, we've got the design and graphics and we're going to go authentic on absolutely everyone. Um, it is a real labour of love process, but your support means everything. And if you actually order from us as well, that's absolutely fantastic. And we appreciate everybody that does. Thank you. Thanks for trusting us. And we'll see you soon.